In this lesson, we will learn how to find the area of a trapezium. Are you ready? Let's begin. A trapezium is a four-sided or quadrilateral flat shape with straight sides that has a pair of opposite sides parallel, marked with arrows like this. A trapezium has a pair of parallel sides. A trapezium is also an isosceles trapezium when it has equal angles from a parallel side. The parallel sides are called the bases. The distance at right angles from one base to the other is called the altitude. The area of a trapezium is the number of square units it takes to completely fill it. In geometry, the area of a shape is the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. The area of a shape or figure is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of that shape or figure. It is measured in square units such as square centimeters, square feet, square inches, and so on. The area of the trapezium is the average of the two base lengths times the altitude. To find the area of a trapezium, you should express the mathematical formula as this. Area equals A plus B divided by 2, all multiplied by H. The area is expressed in meters squared. The formula is written this way. In the formula, A represents the top base, B is the bottom or lower base, and H is the altitude or height of the shape. Let's try an example for a short practice. Here's a question. A trapezium's two bases are 6 meters and 4 meters, and it is 3 meters high. What is its area? Let's recall the formula for finding the area of a trapezium. It goes like this. From the question, A is given as 6 meters, B is 4 meters, and the height H is 3 meters. The area equals 6 meters plus 4 meters divided by 2, all multiplied by 3 meters. This gives us 15 meters squared. It is written like this. Hmm, wasn't that interesting? Now let us remind ourselves some important things we learned in this lesson. A. The trapezium is a four-sided or quadrilateral flat shape with straight sides that has a pair of opposite sides parallel. B. A trapezium is an isosceles trapezium when it has equal angles from a parallel side. C. The area of a trapezium is the number of square units it takes to completely fill it. Amazing! We've learned something new today and it was about the area of a trapezium. But just before we finish up this lesson, let me ask you some questions. They will help you remember things even more. Number one, what is a trapezium? That's correct. A trapezium is a four-sided or quadrilateral flat shape with straight sides that has a pair of opposite sides parallel. Two, what is the area of a trapezium? That's correct. The area of a trapezium is the number of square units it takes to completely fill it. Wow! Thank you for spending some time with me in this lesson. It was fun learning something new. Here is a word that may be new to you. It is formula. It is a group of symbols that make a mathematical statement or expression. Now you understand how to find the area of a trapezium. In the next lesson, we will learn more interesting things. Until then, bye for now!